There are also a number of thermal expansion categories. The first is the uniform expansion. Here, the average temperature across the cross-section is taken. The temperature introduces longitudinal growth equal to the length times the expansion rate. And this is the general approach to processing thermal analysis. The expansion rate is taken from the material library and is measured in millimeters per meter or inches per feet and includes the change in temperature. Another measure of expansion is the thermal expansion coefficient measured in millimeters per millimeter per degree Celsius or inches per inch per degree Fahrenheit. The next is thermal bowing, which can occur when pipes are partially filled or if the pipe becomes hot due to sunlight. The condition can cause the pipe to bow and lift off supports. Autopipe can describe this special condition and analyze for it if required. Some assumptions are made by Autopipe. Only linear thermal strain distribution is considered. It only applies to horizontal or near horizontal pipes with bowing in the local vertical plane. And the same thermal gradient or temperature change is applied to all pipes. Another thermal consideration is through wall temperature gradients. This is normally a transient condition when a change of temperature produces rapidly changing temperatures on the inside of the pipe. And this results in a gradient across the wall thickness that reduces as the temperature equalizes. The gradient causes internal stress and is considered in the ASME nuclear MB code and therefore only included in the ASME nuclear edition. Thermal discontinuity stresses occur when the gradient is different at a point due to the material or geometric changes. Two methods are available for entering thermal displacements to be included with the thermal cases. On the anchor dialog, you can assign the displacement to the relative thermal case, and then these values will always be considered with that thermal load case. Or imposed support displacements can be entered using the insert extra data menu. The displacement can be assigned to any load case and combined at the combination stage depending on their origin. A tab exists in the grid for both of these to review or change values. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.